Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to fill out an inventory template on Amazon Seller Central. Using the inventory file template in uploading products or editing your products on Amazon will really save you time. Instead of adding the products one by one, you can just upload an inventory file, then your products will be added in bulk. Most of the professional sellers use this method in managing their inventory on Amazon Seller Central. An inventory file template is a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet that contains multiple data columns for describing your products. Most inventory file templates are designed for a specific product category. Additional templates can be used to create or update listings in all categories. We will go through the basic in filling out an inventory template. By the way, if you don't know how to download an inventory template yet, we have a different tutorial for that. Please check the link in the description. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Once you open the inventory file template, the first tab is going to be the instructions tab. You will notice that there are a couple more of tabs below and each one of them serves a purpose. The instructions tab is where you can find all the definitions of each tab. It gives also information in other tabs. Since this page contains information you need to create, validate and upload your inventory file to Amazon, it is recommended that you print this page so you can refer to this as you go. Image Info tab is where you can find the Amazon's image standards. All images that you upload to Amazon must conform to these standards. Your images must only have a pure white background. It must not have any additional text. It must not have any graphics or illustrations. There must be no inserted images. The image must be of high quality. So that this means that images should be 1000 pixels or more in either height or width to accommodate the zoom function of the website. It must not have any watermark. The product must not be in any packaging. There are no multiple views. If you have multiple views, then you can upload multiple images with different view. But the primary picture needs to have one view only. The product must fit the frame. And lastly, there must not be any non-included items. Data Definitions tab contains the accepted values that can be used as you fill out the template tab. The Data Definitions tab also indicates whether a field is required, preferred, or optional. Please be advised that there are some fields that require a specific term in which you just need to refer to the Valid Values tab. The Template tab contains the template from which you will create an inventory file. Column headers in bold indicates required data. For best results, also submit as much preferred and optional data as possible for your products. If you're not providing data for a particular field, just leave the cell blank. Feel free to add color, bold, borders, or add additional formatting as long as it's not an additional text to the template, if it is helpful to you. Please note that the high ASCII characters, such as registered, copyright, or trademark, and HTML tags are not allowed. The Example tab is where you can see examples on how to enter product information. This information is for reference only. In order to avoid including invalid product data in your inventory file, do not work on your own items within the example sheet. Work on the template sheet. The last tab is the Valid Values. As indicated in the Data Definitions tab, 
some fields require that you use terms from the Value Values tab. These terms are specific to the product attribute and are used for product discoverability and categorization. When you have finished entering your product data into the Template tab, save the Template tab only as a text tab delimited file. This is the inventory file that you will upload via Upload Products and Inventory tool in your Amazon Seller Central account. So there you are. Those are the basic things that you need to know in filling out an inventory file template. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!